My name is Jamie Whitaker, and I want to be your next District 6 supervisor. San Francisco is experiencing another one of our economic booms. If you live in the downtown core of District 6, which includes South of Market, Mission Bay, and the Tenderloin, the amount of new housing construction and new office space is both exciting and terrifying. If you just moved to San Francisco for a new start, or you're a longtime resident with hopes to live here until your final days, you deserve a city government that listens and responds to you. Right now, technology companies, real estate speculators, and their paid lobbyists seem to be leading the way. Our voices and cries to protect our community's health and safety are ignored for the most part. For this November's election, you have the opportunity to change the status quo if you're not satisfied with the way things are. If you would like a neighborhood advocate representing you in City Hall, choose Jamie Whitaker for supervisor on this November's election ballot. I promise that I will not accept bundled contributions from lobbyists trying to get special exceptions to city laws like the Twitter tax break or legalizing Airbnb short-term rentals. I believe City Hall should prioritize your health, safety, and well-being first before pursuing even more high-rise office tower developments via the Central Soma planning effort. Unless District 6 chooses a leader willing to fight to push the pause button on the Central Soma planning effort and allow South of Market to first digest the existing changes in Trans Bay, Mission Bay, and Mid Market, we will be saying goodbye to more of our longtime Filipino and LGBT neighbors who will get priced out of South of Market by real estate speculators who want to build more office space around 4th Street. The big lie that res District 6 residents keep hearing from the city is that there is no money to build infrastructure we need to complete the transformation from traditional industrial uses to new high-density residential areas. The truth is that there are plenty of new revenues from the new buildings and commerce that occur in District 6. But District 6 residents are not a political priority for City Hall. How do we become a priority? We make noise about the discrimination and disparities between the ways in which our neighborhood is treated compared to more mature residential areas. We're discriminated against despite the disproportionately high amount of revenues we contribute to the city every year. If you elect Jamie Whitaker as your supervisor, you will be hiring someone with an MBA in finance and over seven years of experience working in public finance. I can analyze accounting data, call out the disparities as I see them, and feed such information to local journalists to increase the pressures for more equitable allocations to District 6. For instance, the city's largest single revenue source is property taxes. Did you know District 6 properties comprise over 20% of the taxable property values in San Francisco? Just knowing that one fact makes it infuriating that District 6 will invest about $39 million in the voter-approved 2012 Parks Bond, but the South of Market District is only going to get $1 million of that investment back for our parks. The rest gets spent elsewhere. I'm running for District 6 supervisor because we need a new school for the hundreds and soon to be thousands of kids who are living in the new high-rise buildings in South of Market and Mission Bay. If I'm elected supervisor, I will work quickly to get a new public school built in Mission Bay where it can leverage the science, technology, engineering, and mathematics expertise of UCSF Mission Bay researchers and nearby technology and healthcare professionals to collaborate and training our kids for the jobs that are being created in San Francisco. Community benefits from companies such as those subsidized by the Twitter tax break should include college scholarships to motivate our low-income youths to do well in school and internships to help line up jobs after they complete college. We deserve clean air in District 6. Right now, we have the highest number of pediatric asthma hospitalizations. That's kids having to get rushed to the emergency room for asthma attacks and other respiratory issues triggered by air pollution, most often from cars. We need to follow Chicago's lead and implement real-time air pollution monitors on every block in District 6. Such information made available on the internet can help people with asthma to choose the healthiest routes walking or bicycling to and from their homes. We need to add a sustainability element to the city's general plan to require Department of Public Health's Sustainable Communities Index tool to be used to evaluate the cumulative impacts of proposed developments on our air quality, traffic congestion, ambulance response times, and other community health measures. We need more playgrounds to build stronger kids and to help connect families of different socioeconomic and professional backgrounds. We need more benches for senior citizens and others to sit for a spell while in Civic Center Plaza and other downtown destinations. You can learn more about me at my website, www.electjamie.com. My name is Jamie Whitaker, and I hope I'll be your choice for District 6 Supervisor. Thank you. Thank you.